Shalom, everybody. We're here at the English Channel of Machon Meir. I'm Ari Abramowitz here with Rabbi David Aaron. Because it sounds like from what you're saying, if we're able to really live that connection, it's very empowering. It's a, um, it's invigorating. But in the world today, you know, there's one in ten people in America, uh, conservatively speaking, are, are, are on antidepressants. Uh, in many demographics, it's one in four, even more than that. Uh, people are sad. People are miserable. Um, in a time where it seems like there should be less misery and sadness than any other time. How does Judaism, how does Torah Judaism deal with this? How can, how, do, how does it contend with the issue of depression and how can we help others who are depressed or even ourselves? Right, there's a great verse that says, I need filati, I am my prayer. The essence of a human being is their will. What do you want? And do you want that which is real, that which is really worth wanting? So many of our problems go back to the root of it all, which is, what do you want? You know, what really matters? What's really going to make you happy? In fact, recently I saw a, uh, a lecture on what makes life good, and it was a study by Harvard, and they basically followed people for 75 years, which is like the longest, uh, I guess, the, the longest research, and they're still doing it. And what they discovered is that people start off saying what they want is money, right? What they want is fame. And yet, but they found that the people that were happier and healthier were the people that focused on relationships. And focusing on relationships, again, brings a haf de l'recha kamocha. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you realize I am God and I am the source of all, I am the connector of everyone, then you focus on what really matters. What really matters is good relationships, kind, compassionate, empathetic relationships. That is, it's counterintuitive to coming from the West to hear that it's all about relationships when it, the, at least the societal cultural paradigm is that it's mostly economic. Right. Well, there, there's a, a psychiatrist, psychologist by the name of Carl Rogers. He had a very interesting approach to psychology. Mo most therapists, their attitude is keep a professional distance from your client. You're, you're not their friend, you're their therapist. He had a completely different approach. His approach was, no, the reason why these people are unhealthy is because they have unhealthy relationships because nobody exists in a vacuum. I am me because you are you and you and I are us because they are there. We are completely interconnected. And therefore what happens is because people are in a vacuum of relationship. So basically Carl Roger, his whole approach is no, you need to be the professional friend of your patient, right? Which is a say lecha rav, knei lecha chaver. You need a friend. And therefore, so much of the unhealthy. Well, if we could just uh, translate. Oh that, yeah, I'm sorry. Because those right. two verses. You know, make I for never yourself. Make for yourself a rabbi, but acquire. by yourself, acquire yeah. for yourself a friend, because we are our relationships, right? And so, so much of the the sadness and so much of the brokenness is because we're not focusing on healthy relationships. Thank you so much, Rabbi Aaron. Thank you.